This video is going to show you how to embed a YouTube video into your D2L course. Now you can embed YouTube videos anywhere in D2L where you have access to the HTML editor window, and that can be in a news item, it can be in the discussion board. In this particular example, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to add a video like that directly into content in your course. So I'm here in a content area, I'm in a specific module, and I'm gonna click new and create a file. And this gives me access to this HTML editor window. So any place that you see this is where you're gonna be able to embed a YouTube video. And embedding it means that students can just click directly on it and watch the video right there in D2L without having to go to YouTube or an external site. Um, so to create this content, I'm just gonna give it a quick title. And then, this is the important part, I'm gonna go here to this very first button that looks like play, pause, stop, fast forward, but it's called insert stuff. And I'm gonna click on that. And here you see some options that you have for things that you can insert into this HTML editor window. Um, the first thing you might wanna check out is just clicking on the YouTube link. Now I don't use this very often because I generally have a very specific video in mind that I want to embed. And by clicking on the YouTube link, it's more of a search option. So if I was looking for a video, let's say on D2L tutorials, I can search for it. And this brings up all kinds of stuff from YouTube itself that I could add into my course with a single click. Now I have a specific video in mind that I wanna embed and I already have it open in a different browser window. So I'm gonna do a little bit different step to get that embedded into my course. I'm gonna click this last option that says enter embed code. So I'm gonna click on that. And you see I've got a box here where I'm gonna be able to paste some code. So now I have to go get the code and I'm gonna go get that from YouTube. So I'm just switching over here to a YouTube window. This is the video that I know I wanna add. So to get that piece of code, I'm gonna click here on the share link, which is right below the name of the video. Um, the first option that you'll see will be a link. So if you wanted to just post the link, this is a way to do it. But if you actually wanna embed it, then you click here on the embed code, and this is gonna bring up that code that we're gonna paste in that box. Now, before you copy and paste it into that box, you wanna check out the settings here right below the video. First of all, you can change the video size if you want. I generally just leave it as the default, but you could make it bigger or smaller in that window there. I would also recommend making sure this first box is unchecked as far as showing suggested videos when the video finishes. This will eliminate the possibility that inappropriate videos would show up as a suggested video once your students have watched the one you want in D2L. Um, and I would also recommend checking the use old embed code box. I've had a few problems when I don't have this box checked. D2L just seems to like the old embed code better. So I would recommend making sure that's unchecked and that one is checked. When you've got that set up like that, then you simply copy or highlight all of the text here in the embed box and copy it. I'm gonna right click and hit copy, but you could do control C or however you copy that text. Then I'm gonna go back to D2L. I'm gonna paste that code here in the embed code box. If I was very HTML savvy, I could mess with the code here if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave it all as the default and click next. And this is gonna show me a preview of what this code and how this video is gonna show up in my course. I think that looks great, so I'm gonna click Insert. Here I can see the placeholder now for where that's gonna be. I could add text around the video if I wanted. I could have something say, this is a great video. And then whatever I wanna do with that text, I'm gonna hit Publish. And now when students click in this particular content area or when they're looking at a news item or we're looking at a discussion board post, they'll be able to just play the video right here within D2L because we have embedded it.